this is the five point mantra. We have made a panel of India's best cotton yield taking farmers. They have been awarded recently by the Cotton Association of India. They are across five states of India. And we have discussed the best practices that they use to attain high yields, to attain high yields with scientists from Indian Society of Cotton Improvement, CICR and ICAC in Washington. And we have shortlisted these five common set of services that these farmers follow. If we publish this and if we promote this, I'm sure the yield component is going to be very different in the next three years because these are the best practices and these are the low hanging fruits. These farmers are already achieving a yield of 800 to 1000 quintals per uh, kg per hectare right now with their traditional practices. High density plantation, yes, we need to do, but that is going to take some time. But this low hanging fruit, this current available resources we can use right now, the five points are soil, Anything in BT from 2003 onwards, we need to work on the soil because the period is very less. We previously used to take seven to eight pickings. Now we take two to three pickings in BT. In high density, it's going to be one picking only. The soil needs to be enriched and enriched with input from the farm itself. The more livestock we have, the more plant shredder machines that we use. These plant shredder machines we are using now, CCI, I thank Cotton Corporation of India for providing us the shredder machine. In our project, we will shred the dry cotton plant. We will make vermicompost and, and biocompost out of them, and we will enrich the soil. These processes are continuously going on in many of our projects. So soil is very important, but enriching by regenerative inputs is also important. Second is sowing. Normally, the sowing in India is done from east to west, but all these best yield-taking farmers are sowing from north to south. Because they have studied the science of sunlight. Sunlight falling on plant throughout the day in summer or winter or monsoon, the plants need to have that adequate amount of sunlight to make nutrition and north to south sowing provides that. We have the, the whole, whole nutrition cycle in place and we can explain to anybody who wishes to understand in person why this is so important. And even across the world, the countries which are taking highest yield, the sowing is north to south. Whereas in India, it is east to west. Right. Third is irrigation and fertigation. Prabhagaji mentioned, uh, even Prashanji mentioned, why not irrigation? Can we have a micro uh, finance system? Can we have a CSR based system in irrigation? Why irrigation is not happening is very obvious. The farmer has to pay first and then he gets the reimbursement. That is not happening right now. Even after 60 to 70 percent subsidy being offered, that is not happening. Can we have some microfinance option for the farmers? And can we have some CSR activity here? Then that can immediately impact the yield. Second is fertigation. Application of fertilizers through irrigation. That saves 30 percent of cost immediately. So cost cutting is also important. Yield announcement also important. Fourth is detopping. The canopy management that Suresh Bhai was talking about. Detopping of plants increases the yield by nearly 20 to 25 percent. The machine cost is very dismal. It is only 600, 700 rupees to a machine. We have distributed many machines to our farmers. The, the industry can take that initiative and, and, and start to distribute and educate the farmers about this. And this, this, this innovation has been made by the farmer itself. One of our farmers had made the innovation of the detopping machine and we are selling at only 600 rupees to our project farmers. Use of technology. Now we have made a Cotton Guru Maha FPO mobile app. After studying so many apps, we understood that the farmer cannot apply uh, six to seven app for price one, for inputs one, for productivity one, for disease one. That is not possible. So we have a common app. As a trial, we just put that app in the lockdown period. Today, 17,000 farmers have downloaded the app it is providing first-hand information on farm mapping. We map the farm of the farmer. He's able to see his farm on his own mobile. Then we have input management on the app. Then we have price we give daily. Six days, next six days, weather report is uh, given on that app. And prices of three neighboring mandis are also given sometimes on their app. So this technology interventions can uh, go a long way in, in increasing the lead. These are the five points uh, that I wish to share to all of you.